So, ladies and gentlemen, and today we are back again with a very intense topic of retrogression and retrograde planets. So, today we will try to address some of the questions which are asked most frequently in astrology forums and to astrologers by the enthusiasts of astrology like you and me about retrogression, what retrogression is and what, how can we study retrograde planets, okay? And there's a lot of discussion among the community. There's a lot of controversies as usual. There are a lot of confusions. And at times people, people are like, okay, my planet is retrograde, but then how do I read this? Is it just like, a planet is moving forward, the other is retrograde. It's just like, it just means nothing or does it mean so much or how much does it mean? Okay, so we'll try to address some of these and if you have similar queries, you can write it down in the comments. Any general questions you can ask, okay? And if you want to know personally about your chart, if you have retrograde planets, or how they will function in general, then you can always go down to my description section of my videos below to book a consultation with me because I have to look at your whole chart and see the planets. Okay, Only then I can give you a prediction because if you just write my Saturn is in fifth house retrograde, I cannot answer that question because I don't know which house is Saturn rules, where which sign Saturn is placed. Saturn is conjunct with what? Okay, so... Without that, I will not be able to give any prediction for that, okay? All right. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him even if you have too many retrograde planets in your chart. Okay, so retrograde, the word which is used is Vakri. Vakri Graha. Okay, so what it means is that it appears from the perspective of the earth as if the planet is moving backwards. So we'll not go into the technicalities that we can hold into some other video. But what it means in realities. See, now before understanding retrograde planets, we have to understand many people think that a retrograde planet means that the planet is bad. Okay, so... The biggest problem in today's uh, astrology or I would say YouTube astrology is everything has become black and white. Okay. Okay. So there are like a plus and minus rules. Fake rules, I would say. So one of the biggest fake rule is uh, malefic. If it is retrograde, it, it behaves like a benefit. That's the funniest rule you will ever hear. Okay. Then there's another rule that if a malefic becomes retrograde, he becomes three times more malefic. Then there is another clause to this. If he's a functional malefic, how he will behave? Or if he's a natural malefic, how he will behave? Functional malefic means lords of the primarily the 6th, 8th and 12th houses. And natural malefics are Saturn, Rahu, Ketu primarily and Sun, Mars also to some extent. So then the question is, how do you know what, what, what's happening? Okay, so let's keep it simple. Let's make life simple. But that does not mean that we have to just uh, analyze them at such a simple level because life is complex, astrology is complex. But let us try to get the rules. Okay, so what, what, what does a retrograde planet do? See, what retrogression is, imagine you are going out somewhere. And you want to go to the market. So you take your keys, imagining you have a car and you go out. And then you sit in the car. Then you go halfway. And suddenly out of nowhere, you realize that, oh, oops, I don't have my wallet. So what do you do that time? The first thing you will do is you will... Suppose you suddenly remember that, oh, that wallet was there in that table. I did not take it. So then what do you do? Do you start going back? No, you don't. You will try to look everywhere in your body, right? Oh, my wallet is here, here, here. <laughs> so that means you will start looking for answers in different places. This is the first thing you need to know. 
okay that means you will start looking and uh, you will start touching unconventional parts of your body so so suppose uh, your wallet is in your back side always in your back pocket but now what you will do you will check here okay if it is here in my front pocket or in my trousers or if you have a suit then blazer you will search everywhere now although you know that the wallet is in your home but you will still search right <laughs> you will never just go home directly you will first check then what you will do you will not only check your body your pockets you will also check in the car yes then what you will do if you have the mobile and suppose you are a man you are going out and suppose you have a family your mother or your father or your son or daughter your wife is in your home then what is the first thing you do do you start going back to your home no first is as i said you will start looking in unconventional areas where you know that it doesn't it will not work but still you look it look for it then you will call your mother or your father or your husband or your wife hey is my wallet there yes cross checking now you know that the wallet is there or maybe you are still confused okay so then your mother father or your husband wife will run and say hey yes the wallet is here you see or they may say no the wallet is not here that means you lost the wallet maybe <laughs> okay so there is a sense of there is a belief that something which i do not have now is in a place where i know or it could also mean that you try to go there but you still don't find that that could be another meaning okay and now the next thing what is the next thing that you do next thing is you will you will take a u turn because you have to get the wallet right or you have to come home and get some money from your parents because you need to go for shopping because there is no food to eat in your home okay so then the next thing that you do is you take a u turn so what is that u turn reversal whatever the planet signifies there can be a reversal okay now reversal does not mean exactly see when you are going back home are you actually going home no you are not going actually you are going home so that you can again go back to the market right so whenever there is a reversal during a retrogression or a retrograde planet's dasha or transit don't think that that is the final because you are not just going home you are going home so that you can finally achieve and complete your objective of going to the market so during retrograde planets dashas what could happen is there is a larger objective in mind a bigger objective because of which you might take a u turn in some area of your life okay now it does not mean again as i said you are taking a complete u turn complete u turn means oh of today the market is closed i am going back home but no the market is not closed hopefully <laughs> so that's what retrogression is and now when you are taking the u turn what do you do you will drive very fast because now you have to compensate three times the speed why because one is you went directly so then you spent time now you have to come back so that will take you the same amount of time or maybe 70 to 80% of that time which took when you went there to that location because now you will drive fast and when you go back from your home you will drive in double the speed okay so that means when you are coming back you know there is a intense thought in your mind that i have to get the wallet and then what happens you get the wallet and getting the wallet is like a stationary planet okay when you are going it's like a planet which is direct so stationary retrograde means you have just taken a u turn you are stationary and you are moving backwards that means a stationary planet if it is retrograde 
during the dasha of that planet antar dasha maha dasha depending on that that could be the time when you face the reversal but again it is because of a larger context in life okay that reversal is not the final reversal remember that and now when you come back home that is the period of retrogression so if your planet is in retrograde motion in your chart that means you know that the wallet is in your home only then you are coming right otherwise why will you come home maybe you go to your friend and say hey you know the wallet is not there please give me some money for today i will uh, return it to you tomorrow or maybe you come home but imagine you are alone in the home okay nobody is there or imagine there's one person who says that i don't have the wallet here and neither do i have some money so you have to go to some friend okay so that means retrogression can also mean that whatever the planet is signifying you go in a totally different direction okay which means you go to a friend's house you go to some other relative to get some money you see whatever that planet is signifying or you may come home if you know your wallet is there okay so you may go back to the agenda that that planet is signifying and then when you come home you take the wallet then what happens now you are stationary direct now you are about to go again and now you will go in triple the speed because you have to compensate for the craziness which you <laughs> which you had in the journey okay so that means a planet which is stationary direct is far 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 aggressive then a normal planet when well, normal planet means oh a planet is just going like this you are driving okay which means the the significations of that planet whatever that planet represents during the stationary direct motion it can be very intense you will you will some people will wonder what is happening so suppose your 10th lord is stationary direct okay then now how do you know it is stationary direct well what you can do is you can see the speed of that planet okay so uh, suppose uh, jupiter went direct okay in the beginning of uh, i mean in the second week of august so suppose somebody is born around you know 14 15th then what is happening then it is like stationary but direct so it is taking the gear in full swing okay so now you know that the intensity is very high so so suppose jupiter is your 10th lord and he is stationary direct then when the dasha comes you will be very aggressive you will be like no no i want to get this career thing done as soon as possible i want to get it done at all cost there is no compromise because 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 you have a you have that story in your background you see because i have already wasted so much time now i do not have time to waste okay so stationary direct means no time to waste you are in a hurry you need to get it done okay so suppose venus or seventh lord stationary direct oh my god i want marriage now find somebody okay so if the lagna lord then it could be things related to the body okay or whatever i mean that there are unlimited possibilities so that's what retrogression is that's what stationary planet is okay right uh, stationary direct stationary retrograde okay all these are words which you will find so now the question is when do we see the results of retrograde planets well the answer is very clear you will see their results during the dasha of that planet okay maha dasha or antar dasha so suppose your mercury is a uh, retrograde in your chart because most of the times uh, people are, in many occasions people will have mercury retrograde in their chart so mercury becomes retrograde for you know, quite a number of times in the year so what does that mean so it means that whenever dasha of mercury comes you will see a reversal reversal again in the broader context there could be one reversal okay with a with a larger objective in mind that i have to ultimately go to the market but just i am taking a reversal but it's not a final reversal because 
you are not going to home you are going to the market ultimately okay so that is how a retrograde planet behaves okay so this is what i wanted to say and uh, there is another question which is asked a uh, exalted planet if it is retrograde does it become debilitated exalted means very aware very happy so now suppose it's your marriage anniversary okay and you want to go and buy a gift for your wife and then you are very happy yes 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 i mean i'm assuming that you will be happy so you go to buy a gift you are very exalted that time you are very aware you are remembering oh yes we got married it was a great time once upon a time maybe <laughs> and now you want to rekindle those days and now suddenly you remember that oh my god the wallet is in my room and now you have to call your wife and tell my dear i forgot the wallet so then what happens you fear that she might blast on you she will rip you apart completely that you you are such an irresponsible man that even on the day of our anniversary you forgot the wallet so it means the punishment is more okay so the the shock is more that is why they say a planet which is exalted if it is retrograde it behaves as if it is debilitated now does it mean that you become unhappy completely that's what debilitation is unaware irresponsible okay well for a temporary time it happens because when you are going back then what happens you are feeling oh i wish i had taken my wallet so that period if it is retrograde and exalted for that time you will feel but suppose it is stationary direct okay which means uh, it is it has started moving direct it is just started and then if it is exalted well then of course it's not retrograde so then it is like you are 10 times more exalted because now you know yes now i got my wallet i will go and bring that necklace or something for my wife whatever thing you or she likes okay so that is how we see and now other questions retrograde planets combust debilitated planets if retrograde and combust okay so what the, what is combustion combustion means purity so if a planet is retrograde and combust it means you have to make some serious sacrifices related to that planet for for your overall good ultimately so that's like a situation suppose you know you have one hour and somebody's birthday party is there you you have a son suppose your son has birthday party at 5 and now it's 4 okay so then now all the relatives all his friends are coming at 5 okay so you have one hour so now you go to bring the cake which you ordered for his birthday yesterday or maybe 5 days back and then that shop tells you that oh there was a calamity in our restaurant or in our cake or shop or in our bakery and we did not make a cake so then what happens then now within that one hour you have to search a place where there is some ready made cake available you see that's like combustion now you have to purify yourself you have to lower your desires okay so then you take a alternative now you don't go to your home now where do you go now you end up going to a new restaurant a new bakery but suppose the planet is well placed then it could happen that now you find a better cake right does it mean that a ready made cake has to be always inferior than uh, a cake which you order no it's not necessary maybe the cake is 10 times better okay so now that planet will be better or good or whatever it is that will depend on your chart and your dashas and how it plays okay so this is what i uh, could explain about retrograde planets and as usual there are many queries which will come out so if you have general queries then i will answer it in the comments okay and specific queries pertaining to your horoscopes i can only explain when uh, i see the entire chart and for that you can always go down to the description section to 
get a consultation with me okay thank you very much and i hope uh, we will discuss more on this topic so god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is obsessed about retrograde planets okay thank you very much see you